Hey guys, it's Urban Combat Kill here, back on Destiny with another video. Uh, this time I'm in the tower on Friday night. Uh, I normally don't really make sure videos, but today is a very special day. Uh, and it actually turns out to be even more special than I thought because there is a youtuber by the name of morning after kill that i used to always go actually not used to still every wednesday i check his arms day video to see uh what you know what things i should get from banshee and then every friday i check his video to see what i should get from Jur. uh not what i should get but just you know to, to find out where Jure is and what he's selling. And I've been doing this since the, the beginning of Destiny. Uh, and lo and behold, I wake up today at 8 o'clock. And I'm like, whoa! Mac, the last video Mac posted was like yesterday. No Jure video yet. He's late. Well, apparently he's not late. He is actually no longer going to be doing Destiny videos. So, I feel that I may have to start posting Jure and Arms Day videos. Uh, because the thing is, is the reason why I always check his videos on Wednesday is because, you know, to see the actual roles and which was the best role. Now, I don't know if I'm going to actually, like, do the whole Arms Day thing fully because uh, I think that he buys a lot of the packages and I just, I don't play enough to actually have that much glimmer to be doing that. I mean, I'm like, when I start spending my glimmer, I end up being broke. So, but I'm definitely may end up doing the sure videos. I don't know. I probably will not wake up at 5 a.m. to do them, though. But I'm probably going to do them to at least show where Azure is and also, like, what he's selling. So, right now, he's kind of here where all the three uh, Vanguard guys are to the right. It's kind of like, uh, I'm not there. I don't know what I was doing uh, over here, which is a classic position that Azure is usually in. And you're about to see why today is a very special day. Or this weekend is a very special weekend. So basically, uh, some of you may know that I actually started playing Destiny on Xbox One. And, you know, I've got a lot of really cool weapons on there. The Devil You Don't, the Thousand Earth Stare, uh, the, um, the Future War Cult Handgun with the... Uh, with Firefly and then also the Hung Jury Scout Rifle with Firefly which were removed and the, the perks were changed on the vendor ones. Then uh, I, I also one of my other one of my absolute the only auto rifle I ever ever liked and used the Zalo Supercell I had on Xbox and until today there was no chance that I ever even got one on PS4 because it didn't drop and sure never sold it until today. He's actually selling the Zalo Supercell and it's actually a f near full stability Zalo Supercell with based, uh, braced frame. Near full stability. Um, uh, and then also rifled barrel if you want to have a lot more range on it um, and basically uh, I mean it's still pretty good uh, so you know if you need a little more range you could do that um, and of course you got you know this the you know Zalo Super Zal, it's an arc primary so it basically does electric damage and it's uh, considering that yesterday at least the uh, when they're when you're doing strikes that have arc burn or a nightfall that has arc burn this is going to be a really great primary to use so this is also a special day because this is the first day that sure is selling uh exotic shards and it turns out that they're being sold for seven strange coins each and um that's very cool because in order to upgrade and infuse an, an, an exotic weapon, you need an exotic shard, as you can see there. Which, the only way to get one is by dismantling an exotic. Um, 
or uh, actually, I mean, I, I, I don't know if there's a chance that you can actually get one to drop. But yeah, dismantling an exotic is one way to get one, which means you have to trash one of your exotics. Um, unfortunately, if you use an exotic for infused fuel, you don't get one of these and you still lose the exotic. So, so yeah, him sell, this is uh, an update that came with the dawning was that he's now going to be selling these, which is really, really, really awesome. Uh, so basically the gear as follows is the legacy engram which gets you a year one item uh, for 29 strange coins if you ask me that's absolutely absurd i would not spend your strange coins on that uh he's selling the glass house titan helmet which uh gives you an extra uh i'm sorry which makes blessing light and weapons of light last longer and it uh, doesn't really have much else of use, uh, depending on, you know, at least that's my opinion. You, you might differ. Uh, then you have Young Ahamkara's Spine Gauntlets for the Hunter. This gives you an extra skip grenade, a trip mine grenade charge and increases the trip mine grenade to no, uh, duration as well. It gives you increased. Uh, grenade throw distance um, again besides that it's not not very interesting um, it's got discipline and strength on it so these two I mean you know it's all about what kind of build you want to build then he has the uh, void vestments uh, void fang vestments which he actually sold a few weeks ago uh, so these came back uh, this actually is interesting uh, because you spawn with full grenade energy and your Axion Bolt uh, grenade spawns an additional Seeker. Um, it kind of depends on uh, how you use this. This may be useful in PvE. Um, it's been said in PvP that you rarely find enemies that are together in more than two. I seem to have found a lot of times where i run into a room and there's three enemies there but that's just my personal experience and in this case you'd be able to actually throw a grenade and spawn three seekers three axiom bolts which would go to all three enemies however uh the the axiom bolts and the crucible to me seem a little underpowered as grenades and they really don't do much of anything to kill an enemy unless that enemy is already damaged so i honestly in pvp this i would not use these at all because because i mean like if you're using void uh you can get the extra armor by using the ram helmet which i use with my warlock um and you this the, the axion bolts are just completely fucking useless in my opinion in pvp i mean they don't do the damage um, I mean, the Wombo Combos on Hunter destroys them. Um, in fact, I would honestly think that um, there's some other option you got to be able to use. The Vortex Grenade or uh, something else. I haven't used my Warlock in quite some time at, at, with something other than uh, Axiom Bolts or the other thing. Um, I do use Axiom Bolts, but usually it's just to use it against... An enemy who I've shot a bunch of times and then he runs away while he's low health. I'll toss a grenade so that the, the, the bolt would go after him and kill him, finish him off. But as far as crowd control, like say you're playing control, you want to throw even two grenades. You, If you have the memory of Felwinter, this might work. But yeah, go if, if you're playing control and you want and you got a bunch of enemies on a control zone and you think you're gonna throw a grenade and then the Daxian bolt and kill them, you're wrong. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, forget about those grenades and use a fucking Nova bomb that will take care of them. But grenades will not happen, will not do the job unless they're already weakened. So, I honestly, for PvP, I would not use these. Definitely for PvE, you can use these because for most enemy, well, for most trash mobs in PvP, the Axion Bolts will kill them. Uh, da, 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 da. And that takes us to the Zalo Supercell that we already looked at. Um, which I'm definitely grabbing this. I'll take one of these. 
Whoa, 23 strange coins. That's a lot. Okay, yeah, it's normally that much, though. So I haven't bought a weapon from Jer in a while. Uh, so then you come down here and you got the plasma drive and the emerald coil. And basically what this does is it, update, it upgrades your blue rarity sparrow to a legendary sparrow and gives you the contrail as denoted on the actual picture card. Then you have, this is another change upgrade from uh, the dawning update. You have, uh, you can now buy 10 ammo synthesis for three strange coins, which is a better deal. I think, I think now it's actually better to go here than to go to Varix in the reef because Varix uh, only gives you, I believe one, I think for 250 strange coins and one either seed. Maybe he gives you three, I'm not sure, but getting 10 for three strange coins, that sounds like a dynamite of a deal. And then of course you got three of coins. What these do is these give you an increased chance to get an exotic from killing a major or an ultra enemy. That's any enemy with a yellow health bar. And uh, the way these work is you pop one before the activity and at the end of the activity when it's either you beat the a boss oh actually i'm sorry man major dirt moment scratch that it's only ultras only bosses with a yellow health bar that have a skull on it so bosses at the end of strikes at the end of missions etc like i'm talking like the hardcore guys with the skull and it's like a big triangle and they're really hard uh, so either from killing those or from doing crucible matches you can get them from sparrow racing basically at the end of crucible matches or sparrow racing basically at the end of any player versus player activity you, uh, you it will have a chance to actually drop one, uh, an exotic uh, ingram uh, if you do not get an exotic ingram you pop another one of these and then the next time you kill a uh an ultra boss or finish a pvp match in the crucible or sparrow racing you have a even greater chance of getting an exotic and then you rinse and repeat if you don't get one pop another three of coins and eventually you will get one um, now there's a thing going around that you can go to the iron tomb and you can kill those three uh where those three big guys uh, the Iron Lord spawn that you can kill two of them and then kill yourself and then go in and ki ki keep killing them over and over again. Pop a three of coins each time. As you can imagine, that's not that much time because there's actually a cooldown that was introduced shortly after they first came out because people were breaking the game by uh, killing one of the bosses over and over again, killing him and then killing themselves with a rocket. And then respawning back in the beginning and the, the exotic would still be there and then killing themselves over and over again and getting like a crap load of exotics very quickly and they decided to nerf it to give it something like a 10 minute timer cooldown or something where you have to wait 10 minutes or something like that to use it again uh time and time again people have said this cooldown doesn't work uh, I mean, it's not true that you can still use it, that the, you can use the Iron Tomb, you can farm the Iron Tomb. Uh, Morning After Kill, who is a guy that's not no longer going to be making Destiny videos, said that he, he said that he had proof because he actually did the Iron Tomb and got like a certain number of exotics and an hour of farming or something like that. But my experience still holds true. That is extremely rare. Uh, and that I do not believe that works uh, you guys you can do it however you want um, but I believe that I get more strange uh, I get more exotics out of doing them after every crucible match or every strike than I do if I do the iron tomb if I do the iron tomb I'm lucky to get one in like an hour of farming which is definitely less I think than I get from any other activity then you have Jure's glass needles which are um these things that I've never used, but I hear through the grapevine that you can actually use them to re-roll your exotic gear. So basically what that does is it means that this area right here in the middle, it changes all, not this, it changes these things. So basically it's usually it's going to be your, you know, 
your 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 sights is going to be whatever perks are in the middle it's not going to touch this it's not going to touch your exotic like either of these perks not this one or this one because this one is basically the effect of the exotic and then this one is you know usually also a perk of the exotic like for instance the bad juju um here is um the part where it basically never has to reload if you constantly kill somebody with it after every kill the, the magazine automatically refills itself and you never have to reload uh, i forget what it's called right now but it, it, on the bad juju it's right here actually yes, do i have it i do believe i have it uh Actually, no, I dismantled it because I don't want it. I didn't want it anymore. Um, it, it, like, you know, once I kind of realized that I can actually uh, play the game better so that I reload at strategic times, then never reloading didn't actually, wasn't an issue anymore. Um, although I still want the, the no time to explain because, um, I don't know, the stranger's rifle is really, really awesome. So, and you can also get modes of light, which I think is fucking useless and a waste of strange coins because uh, you get like a crap load of them when you play the game. So to spend strange coins on modes of light is absolutely insane since if I made strange coins the way that I make modes of light, I would have like probably like if I didn't spend them because I always spend modes of light to upgrade my gear, I would probably make I make an excess currently with the activities that I do I make probably around I would say around 200 uh, modes of light per week while I only make about average about 50 strange coins per week so with the current activities I do so you see that I make four times more modes of light with the same activities as I do um, strange coins so spending two strange coins uh, to get a mode of light is really ridiculous because if you think about it basically it's implying that you should have double the amount of strange coins as modes of light when the reality is i have four times as much uh, modes of light as i ever do strange coins at any given time in terms of gameplay and how much you earn so this is completely retarded and i would never 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 even spend one coin to buy a mode of light. That I think I, I think I've expressed how strongly I feel about not buying modes of light, and it's kind of fucking useless. About the only time that I would, I would, the only time that I could see this ever being useful is in something like where you need uh, modes of light to imbue your exotic sword and the exotic sword quest. You need uh, them to get your initial sword or something like that. And then you're basically going to... Uh, you you are at a loss for most of light and you're just desperate. You can come here and buy some if you have that. But it, to me, is a complete, complete fucking waste of money. So basically, I right now I have... Let's see how many of these guys I have. I have seven of these guys. Um... And then what I'm going to do is I'm basically I have some of these guys, so I'm going to buy some of these guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one of these, do this, one of these, one of these, and then that's the way it goes. Uh, because exotic shards come in very handy. And uh, let's actually see. Um, Uh, well, that's it for the video, actually. I mean, there's some more stuff I'm going to see, but you don't have to see it in the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and I may... Actually, I'm not going to promise that I will, but I may be posting future Azure videos. Um, I know I said early in the video that I would definitely do it, but I honestly, I think it's kind of funny because I think Mac is kind of going in the direction that I already am, which I... I never really was too interested in YouTube. I was much more interested in streaming on Twitch. Um, and so I just, it just seemed like uh, that was more fun for me because uh, I can meet a lot more people that way. People can play with me on stream and stuff like that. I think that's a lot cooler. And um, that's kind of what, you know, that's, that's really what I want to do. I don't want to, uh, 
I mean, also the other thing is for me, making videos on YouTube is a huge hassle. I mean, like right now, I'm making this one with OBS. It's really easy because, you know, I'm making it uh, what you could call Gathalian style where you're just in the middle of the stream, you press start record, and then you start recording the video, and then you press stop record, um, and then you just upload it to YouTube, which that is easy to do, and that's why most of my videos are these kind of videos. The other videos that you're going to see on my channel are going to be kind of blogs where I just record audio whenever I, I really feel like talking about something and then I will attach it to some gameplay footage in the future and then upload that. I have about three audio pieces that I've done. Uh, I have yet to do with the video because again, I basically need to uh, load it into Final Cut Pro and actually edit the video, which takes time. And basically, I'm trying to be a consistent streamer and a successful real estate agent at the same time, which is really, really time intensive. So, um, and if you've seen stuff like uh, my Iron Banner highlight reel, I really like, like doing stuff like that, but that literally, I had to watch all five hours of my stream of one iron banner stream that i considered to be really good um but if i actually had more than that i'd have to watch more than that because i actually had to watch the entire thing to to figure out to find all the highlights um and then so i had to watch the whole thing in final cut pro and then cl cut stuff out as it happened and then put it in order and then it was like oh i want to do this funny cute thing with my, me falling in a hole a bunch of times and joke about how there would be absolutely none of this in the video and then because i came up with the idea that it would be like a drinking game and i it literally i was up until two o'clock in the morning doing that and then that ruined my morning the next day and then uh, i uploaded the, the video um and it's you know it was kind of funny because i uploaded uh what did i upload i uploaded a video that i did in this style um let me go and get some presents if they're there i uploaded a video in this style where i was actually talking about something else and then i uploaded it i'm not sure oh uh i uploaded a video on it wasn't about the dawning I don't know what it was, but I uploaded a video of that nature, and then, um, and then I, uh, uploaded it, and then it actually was there on YouTube, of course, very, sounding very, very stupid at the moment, but, uh, I uploaded that video that was filmed this style, and then, but I'd already had the Iron Banner highlight reel done. And since it took me so long to do that, it was like I basically had to upload um, the videos at the same time. I scheduled the Iron Banner one to come out later the same day, even though the video was supposed to be before. So, um, it yeah, for me, doing videos on YouTube is very time consuming, where streaming on Twitch is not, and streaming on Twitch is a lot more fun for me. So... So that's why I kind of, that's what I want to do. I mean, basically it comes all, it comes down to what I love to do. I love talking to people. I love interacting with people. I love meeting new people. Uh, that's why I'm doing real estate. I call probably like uh, 300 to 500 numbers a day, maybe even more. I talk to people all the time. Uh, to, tonight I actually called a number that ended up being a bad number this girl on her voicemail talk, talked in a Yoda accent about how she was, um, whatever, not available. And, uh, I will leave her message and message you will leave. So I left her my own message in a Yoda accent saying, call me, you will. And I, I, I thought I did a horrible Yoda accent. I'm not going to repeat it on here, but she actually told me that, um, that she liked it so yeah so she texted me back saying i don't know what whatever because basically i said i was calling about her house for sale she said she didn't have a house for sale and um then she said i have an adorable yoda accent and then we started talking about star wars rogue one and um etc so i just love meeting people 
and talking to people and that's why I do what I do on YouTube I'm just sitting in front of a computer um, editing a video um, which is kind of fun but I'm not talking to anybody it, it takes hours you know I have to do a lot of retakes um, and uh, I don't know it feels like when I do the videos this way it feels like I have, have the freedom to just say you know whatever I say fuck it that's what's gonna be the video and I'm not editing things like 100,000 times for some reason I don't know when I put it in Final Cut Pro and I got the music and I have everything I'm gonna, I'm gonna start talking at this point in time and I'm gonna talk about this and I want to say this and I say that then I'm like oh shit I don't like that part I want to re-record this and it takes forever and I it's just I don't have time for that homie I just you know it's not my deal so I like playing on Twitch and um, making some videos like this and I honestly um, I don't know Twitch is what I want to grow my channel on Twitch I'm not really concerned about YouTube so I just do this because I know a lot of the people that are on Twitch are also on YouTube so anyway I will catch you guys later alligator Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash urban combat kill. Uh, like, comment, subscribe this video if you want me to be successful on YouTube and not, I it's whatever. But I just heard that there is something that uh, YouTube did that if you don't like videos, they don't get shown as much or suggested as much or something. So, so you do that if you want. But my main deal is, uh, you know, Twitch. It's pretty much what I care about. So... Follow me on Twitch. Come check out the stream. It's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 6 p.m. I do a lot of on-schedule streams. So when you follow, click that little button that says uh, notify me when when this user goes live. Because I do go live quite often. Especially now that they have the new IRL uh, category. Or directory, rather. I will be doing that quite a bit. Some spontaneous streams of me walking my dog or cooking some breakfast or doing something like that so so je definitely you want to do that and please 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 if you want to support me come to the channel hang out in the channel chat i mean if you're if you're super shy you don't have to chat you can just have the video open but that really 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 helps me out it's, it's like really helps me out because that pulls me back, that, that pushes me higher in the directory, and then I get seen more. Um, so that's definitely the best way to support me right now. Even better than giving me money. Like, I don't want your money right now. I, I don't want your money. I, although I am pretty much haven't made a cent in three months, and I'm pretty much working for free until I close some real estate deals. I do not want your money. What I would love is for you to actually go to my channel and like watch my you know say hello come hang out chat that would be awesome uh so that's the best way to support me right now um because honestly i want to work for my money uh, i do not want to i do not want my income to come from donations on my stream um any donations that i do receive on the stream will be used to actually fund the stream and that's kind of how i want to make it work like like any money that you guys give to the stream is going to be used to buy stuff that will make the stream better like a better capture card um you know make stuff better in the studio so i can see your chat better you know come up with better solutions maybe come up with different types of things to do stuff like that but anyway uh enough about that uh i'm gonna go up here and uh play some destiny I left Jer, but I'm going to go back to him because I need to still check some stuff out. I think I'm going to load up Dim because I think I have like uh, some other strange coins on my Warlock or some other stuff. And, and you know, I'm going to do more Sparrow Racing. Um, so uh, I might even stream. So go to twitch.tv slash Kill and drop me a follow so you know when I'm on. Peace. Peace.